Hi, I'm Kate Martin. I'm Lead Ranger for the National Trust here at beautiful Formby. Sand dunes are what you can see around me here. They're basically hills and mounds made of sand that have been caused by sand getting trapped when it comes onto the beach and then vegetation coming into that sand, growing through it and the sand dunes building up and building up and building up over time. Formby is part of the biggest sand dune system in England on the Sefton coast and they're also one of the few sand dune systems that we have in the UK which is still mobile and still dynamic which means it's constantly moving and shifting and creating that mosaic of habitats which are very rare species that we have, the natter jack toads, our sand lizards need to survive. Sand dunes are also really important as a coastal sea defence and a dynamic sand dune system can move and shift depending on the natural processes that are hitting it, which means that they'll always form a defence against the tide and the sea as it comes in. The coastline here at Formby is internationally protected and it's also a site of special scientific interest that's a national, a UK designation. It's really good, the protection, because it means this land is protected and looked after and cared for legally, but it also does also bring challenges because it means we can't just do what we like, we have to ask permission for anything we want to do on site. When people hear about coastal change, particularly coastal erosion, they think we have to find a solution to try and stop it. But that's not what we need to do. We need to work with and adapt to the natural processes that are changing our coastline. And that's what we do here at Formby and throughout the National Trust. One of the projects that's taken place at a number of locations around the coastline is Dynamic Dunescapes and that's a project that we've been working with Natural England to actually encourage the dynamism of the dunes here, particularly in areas where those dynamic dunescapes and the dynamic processes have been halted because of something that humans have done. We've tried to do stuff to actually kick the natural processes back in and the mobility and we're also looking at moving some of the infrastructure that's in the way of the movement sand dunes and is now getting taken over by the sand dunes back inland out of that coastal risk zone so we can give space to the dunes to move naturally as they want to.